Hey everyone, Laser Dave here from Trotec Laser. To answer the question, can you laser it? I want to see if it's possible to consistently laser engrave and cut doormats made from coco coir, a coconut fiber. Let's find out. I purchased some traditional outdoor coco coir or coconut fiber doormats for this test. Scan this QR code from Amazon for details. To start the testing, I have placed a small doormat into the laser machine and I will use the ultrasonic autofocus to focus on the surface. And what I found was the material will not work with sonar based autofocus due to how the material absorbs sound. So this material will require using the manual focus tool to focus onto the surface of the material. Now to determine the laser parameters for this material using the Trotec logo as the engrave file. I will be using the Speedy 400 laser system with 120 watts and a 2 inch lens in these tests. I will start at 100% laser power, 20% speed, 1000 Hz and only 250 dpi for the first test. As you can see this setting is too slow as it's causing the fibers to start burning. The next test will increase the laser speed to 40% leaving the other laser settings the same. But again, the fibers are retaining too much heat with this power setting causing them to burn. To keep the fibers from burning, the next test I will first use a spray bottle filled with water and lightly spray the fibers in an attempt to reduce the chance that the fibers will burn. I will now run the next test increasing the laser speed to 60%, leaving the other settings the same onto the now slightly wet fibers. The wet fibers look to work very well, but the contrast is poor. This test has shown me that it may be possible to move the settings back down to 40% with the wet fibers. In addition to slowing back down, I will also add a blue vector outline around the logo and run that line with a 0.7 inch offset. This engraved test will be at 40% speed setting with wet fibers. And after the engraving is complete, the blue vector line will move the z-axis away from the material by 0.7 inches and run a vector line around the letters at 100% power, 5% speed with a 0.7 inch offset. This process worked very well. The moisture has kept the fibers from burning and the offset has produced a more defined image and a higher contrast overall look. This final test, I want to see if it's possible to cut the doormat. Because the fibers can burn, it's going to work much better to cut from the back side. So we'll turn the mat over and refocus the laser. The back side of the mat is a rubber material, so it should be possible to laser cut. The first test cut, I will cut at 100% power, 1% speed, and 1000 Hz. This setting did not quite cut all the way through the rubber mat. For the next test, I will slow the cut speed down to 0.6% speed, leaving the other settings the same. This setting cut through very nicely, very clean, and it looks great. I now have all the information I need to run a final test. This final file will engrave the black, mark with the blue, and cut with the red. But because the cut file needs to be cut from the back side, it will need to be run as a second file. So I will separate the black and the blue outline in the file and send that to the laser. I will now place a new larger doormat into the laser and lightly spray the surface with a mist of water. Then I will close the lid and then use the newly discovered laser parameters to run the file. The settings are looking great. 100% power at 40% speed, 1000 Hz at 250 dpi are producing very nice contrast on this full size test. And because of the moisture, there is no burning at all. And the blue vector with the offset is producing a nice pop in contrast. Now that the engraving is complete, I will open the laser and turn over the doormat and run the red cut settings on the back side. The red cut settings at 100% power, 0.6% speed, 1000 Hz. These settings are working beautifully from the back side on this full scale test. Once complete, open the laser and remove the cut parts for the final finished results. 
This test definitely had some challenges, but thinking outside of the box by misting the surface with water made the difference on whether this application worked or not, proving that with the little ingenuity, it is amazing what can be lasered. If you have any questions or ideas on something that you would like to see me laser, please let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.